And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you an epic three letter little framework that will help you form responses in a real epic way inside of your DMs. Remember, guys, smash that subscribe button. Every single time that I put out videos, more and more people are hitting subscribe. Just do it. Literally takes two seconds of your time. You're going to see it on this video at some point or somewhere on this page. Like literally smash that subscribe button for me. It helps support the channel. Helps me understand that you guys are listening. Awesome stuff. Right. So I'm just going to go on to my other screen right now. Okay. Right. So let me just move myself out of the way. So the response, the three kind of the, the, the free letter framework that I'm going to speak to you about is something that I created back in the call center. So I used to run call centers for a living, cold calling centers, kind of like Wolf of Wall Street style type energy call centers, right, for a long period of my life. And I was responsible for sales there. I was, well, I went from being on the phones to coming off the phones to managing staff and coaching staff all the way through then to actually like running um, a call center myself. Um, and one of the things or one of the issues that we came up uh, as we're kind of like hiring people and stuff like that is like when we hired new people who had no experience on call centers, or no experience of talking over the phone, what we found is that people, when they got a response from a prospective client on a phone call, and they had questions that they needed to ask, they kind of turned it into a bit of an interrogation. Like, so like inside of a DM conversation, right? If you had questions that you had to ask, like, how are you finding it so far? What are you promoting? All of that kind of stuff. Like, well, they would just ask those questions without anything else. So it just turned into like, question, response, question, response, question, response. And that meant that people weren't able to showcase their personality. People weren't able to show empathy if it was needed. People weren't able to show appreciation for someone sharing information. And all of these things, people talk about like, it takes like weeks and months and sometimes years to build up a no like, and trust factor. If you speak to people in the right way with the right tone, whether that's verbally or like through messaging, you can still have a tone then you're able to build up that no like and trust factor in a much quicker way. Like in on, in the call center, we used to speak to people for 10 minutes, strangers out of the blue, phoning them, right? And within like 10 minutes, they're getting their uh, debit card out, or the credit card out to like make a purchase. Like we're building up a no like and trust factor in a very short space of time, right? It just makes sense for people to be focusing on that. So the amount of times that I see kind of DMs and people doing DMs in an horrendous way is staggering right? Uh, which is great, like for what we do, because like the skill set isn't there. And my affiliates have such a great skill set with this stuff, because this is what we teach inside of the DM Academy. Um, but here's the framework, right? Or here's the, the little kind of free letter framework, right? It's called ARQ. Again, I'm just going to say it, like, I'm the freaking one who invented this stuff. Like, yeah, you might see similar stuff online or whatever. This wasn't created online. This was created in a sweaty call center in South on sea in the UK, right? And then I've transferred it online. So ARQ, what does it stand for? It stands for acknowledge, respond, question, right? And that's how I go about, especially at the beginning of the conversation. First half of the beginning of the conversation, I just focus my attention on ARQ, acknowledge, respond, question, right? So let me share with you uh, an acknowledge, right? An acknowledge can just be uh, a positive phrasing based around what someone has said, right? So if someone has shared to me, uh, shared with me that they've been doing affiliate marketing for a couple of years, well, my way of acknowledging that would be like, okay, cool. Thanks for sharing. Or like, yeah, appreciate that. Like uh, any type of um, acknowledgement could be like, great, good, superb. That's fantastic. Like, or it could be like, oh, I'm sorry to hear about it. Like, whatever the acknowledgement is for the response that you got, that's ultimately the key, right? But you have to acknowledge someone, right? Because what that's doing is it's ensuring that someone knows that it's okay to have a response. It's okay maybe to have a differing of an opinion. Acknowledge that someone has said something. Because what you're trying to do here, you're trying to control the rules of the conversation, right? Because if you acknowledge, right, well, the chances are that someone else is going to acknowledge. You know, when you sometimes like in call center world, as an example, you try and mirror someone, right? Especially through someone's tone. So if I'm speaking to someone who's got quite a loud, quick voice, like in, in essence, my, my voice would naturally go quite loud and quick too, to replicate, to mirror. Okay. So when we're acknowledging, it's kind of the same principles, right? 
same principles. We want to acknowledge that someone has said something, right? Because we want that to be a fixture in how we're both communicating over time. Then we want to respond. So this is often a statement back to what someone has said or an additional bit of information that we're adding, right? Take take uh, an example again, right? So um, prospective lead has said, um, I've asked them like how long I've been doing it for, right? Through ARQ, but like uh, they've said, I've been doing it for two months, okay? So I could be like, that's cool. That's my A for acknowledge. Um, I've been doing it for around seven years now. Um, and I'd probably put an emoji like shock face emoji or something like that. That's my response, right? So that's my response based around what someone said. I've acknowledged it. I've then shared a little bit extra info because I'm now sharing info that's like corresponding to what someone else has said. So I'm not just going like, yeah, that's cool. Hey, like, uh, are you making money online? Like people do. Like they just don't care about like the journey someone has to go in from being a cold stranger to turning into a lead to then a customer, right? Um, and then I finish off with a question. How have you been finding it so far over the last couple of months? Genuinely, like that for me, like when someone says how long they've been doing it, that's part of my build rapport phase in my five-step DM framework that we teach in the DM Academy. And this is a very typical type of response. Let me just kind of add the extra little bits in. I can't see my mouse. Uh, where is my mouse? There we go. Let me just go here. Oops. Oh, and then here. So ARQ, we've got that's cool, I've acknowledged, response, I've been doing it for around seven years now, question, how you've been finding it so far over the last couple of months? And notice my questions are open questions, I'll probably share this in another video, but open questions evoke uh, a wider response than just yes or no, right? Yes or no questions are closed questions, um, questions that evoke a wider response than a yes or no uh, are open questions. Really useful for when you're trying to obtain information. But there you go, ARQ, I use that in all of my responses. It's second nature to me, especially at the beginning of a conversation when you don't know someone. Uh, and then over time, you can probably be, I use the term risky, it's not really the right term to use, but you can be a little bit riskier uh, over time or you don't need to use ARQ because you can fall back into an already established relationship. ARQ, really cool, epic little framework in terms of forming your responses in a real cool way inside of your DMs. Smash the like button, hit share, drop a comment below, I'd love to hear it. Hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.